Hello my friends and welcome back to the rabbit hole. Today's video is going to be Ulta Love Your Skin event week number one and the hot buys. See I told you guys I wear this all the time but only outside so you know. I'm about to leave and I really hope this video comes together because we're running short on time so apologies if anything is wrong in this video we're just gonna go for it. So in the event that you've never seen one of my Ulta sale event videos we go over every single item week by week so there will be three videos in this series and this is the longest one because we have to include the hot buys. I'm just gonna tell you guys right now the hot buys are overall rather meh so we're probably going to go through them quite quickly. If you're unfamiliar with this entire event, this is the Love Your Skin event that Ulta does every January where they have the same model as the 21 Days of Beauty, 50% off select items for one day only and when they sell out, they sell out. Most items are available in store and online, some items are online only. Ulta also has this uh, tendency to add extra items to the event. I don't know what they will be yet if they even do that, but if they do, I will update in the description box below where I will also have everything linked. Have we covered everything? I hope so, because we're going to jump right into it. So we are starting off with Sunday, January 5th, and we have 50% off It Cosmetics Confidence in a Gel Lotion Weightless Moisturizer. Now, I did do a review of It Cosmetics brand, and it was not my favorite, but I have to say, I looked at the ingredients of this particular product, and it doesn't have the uh, quirk that I don't love about a lot of It Cosmetics products, which is just simply too many ingredients. You know, you hit a point where there's just too much in a product to really see the results of each individual ingredient. So this one might actually be nice. I have not tried it because gels are typically for oily or combination skin, whereas cream products are more for dry skin, and I do have more dry skin. Uh, but yeah, if you do have oily combo skin, this one might not be bad, $18, not bad. Now for one that is on my to buy list, the Tula Cult Classic Purifying Face Cleanser. Have they updated that name? Because that seems like a slightly different name. But this is indeed their face cleanser, and I personally did really like this. I went through two of the sample sizes of this, and I, I think I'm going to go for it. I'm going to go for buying the full size. 50% off, it'll be $14. I do have an entire review on Tula, so I will link that if you're interested. And then also, we have 50% off the Peter Thomas Roth Unwrinkle Peel Pads Super Size. Now, I was thinking about this. I did try this product as well quite a while ago at this point. Uh, and it was not my absolute favorite peel, but I went back in and I looked at the ingredients and you know, overall, this is a good peel. I'm personally not going to buy it just because I have so many peel products, but I will tell you this. They say that this is a daily peel product, even when I have daily products of my own, such as the Dr. Dennis Gross Alpha Beta Peel. I don't use them daily, I don't find it necessary. Every other day is good enough. So for me, that could be a six month supply for $29. It's gonna be strong though, so keep that in mind if you have a more sensitive skin type. All right, Monday, January 6th, we have one that appears in many, many sales. The Derma Doctor Kadaku C High Potency Evening Oil. Regular price, $74 on this. You know, this is another one of those pricey oils that starts off with capric caprylic triglyceride. To be fair, I have not tried this, so perhaps it is amazing, but that is a cheap ingredient. And when you call a product an oil, maybe it's just me, but I expect the first ingredient to be some kind of oil. Argan oil? Rosehip oil? Don't care. I ranted all about that in my Kiehl's video. I know it's just a personal quirk that I have, but it keeps me from spending $37 on sale for one ounce of oil. We also have 50% off the Peach and Lily Matcha Pudding Antioxidant Cream. This looks like a nice product, but it does actually contain some irritants. Now, in the defense of Peach and Lily, they're very good about being transparent about those. Unfortunately, there's bergamot in here, and I cannot use bergamot. It's actually kind of a common allergy, I've come to realize. Uh, so yeah, that one's going to be a pass for me. We have a Diamond Platinum exclusive on this day. 50% off the Estee Lauder Daywear Eye Cooling Antioxidant Moisture Gel Cream. This will be $20. I tried this a while ago. I've got to be honest that it was not memorable <laughs> enough for me to 
really remember much about using it other than the act that I used an eye cream. Uh, it's not a bad memory, it's not a great memory, but it's not a bad price either. Estee Lauder is a pretty reliable brand, so, you know, if it's one of your favorites, I'd grab it on this day. Oh, and I should mention that usually Platinum Perks Day is the first Monday of the month, and I, th I think we should see a Platinum Perks Day on this day if you are interested in that. Tuesday, January 7th, 50% off the Juice Beauty Stem Cellular Anti-Wrinkle Overnight Cream. Boy, it's really hitting me how many brands I've tried. I did do a Juice Beauty trial. I thought that they were they were a pretty reliable brand. You are running into that long ingredients list situation, but if you're interested in more natural ingredients, this Juice Beauty is a good option. I do think it's a brand that I would probably never pay full price for because they're pretty much always in some kind of a sale, but still a reliable brand. 50% off Bosha select items. So. I, I've come to really like Bosha, even though I feel like I was hard on them in my trial of Bosha because I don't like exfoliating peel gels. Again, personal preference. Uh, but I do have the Cactus Water Moisturizer, which is one of the products that will be 50% off. This one's too light for my skin, but I can see it being enjoyable for people with oily or combination skin. We have the Purifying Cleansing Gel, the Rosehip Omega Face Oil, which does start with oil as the first ingredient, and then the indigo eye cream, which sounds quite intriguing. Uh, I have not tried any of those three, but as is always the case, if you have, please feel free to leave a comment with your experience in the comment section below. Another online only item, 50% off the Herborean BB cream. I believe we had the CC cream last time. I really contemplated buying that, but the problem I have is this atrocious shade range. Granted, a BB cream is lighter, so it probably will work for more people than a you know full coverage foundation but there's th there's three shades three i'm on the fence about whether i should try this because they have a fair to light for pink undertones and then they have a medium to olive but that's not the way that olive skin works i would know i have a little bit of an olive tint to my skin uh so it's not that olive is a shade range, it's an undertone. It's actually kind of a, a adjacent undertone almost. I would say my skin is neutral with the hint of olive, but I can pull off warmer foundations, golden foundations, because yellow is closer to green than pink. Makes sense, right? On Wednesday, January 8th, we have 50% off Clarisonic Advanced Attachments. So this includes the Firming Massage Head, the Sonic Exfoliator Brush Head, the Sonic Awakening Eye Massager, and the Sonic Foundation Brush Head. I did get talked into buying the Foundation Brush Head, and it's mostly Toddy's fault. And sometimes Toddy has amazing recommendations that work out really, really well for me. This has not been one of them. I don't get it. I do not see any advantage personally in using this over a regular brush. Not even kind of, it's actually more frustrating and takes me longer. Again, that's just me. Some people seem to swear by it, but you know what? Honestly, my whole experience with Clarisonic has not been great, has it? It, ha it has not. Oh, these are expensive too. That massage head is $59. The eye massager, 59. This is retail, so they'll still be $30, $30 with the sale, but. Please comment if you've tried any of those and have any opinions. We also have 50% off the First Aid Beauty Fab Faves To Go Kit. These are such great little kits. 15 bucks, you get to try three of First Aid Beauty's products. I find First Aid Beauty to be a very gentle brand. I used to say for sensitive skin, but I'm not always sure about that. Sensitive skin is so difficult to just make blanket recommendations for, but I do think it is a more gentle brand. The facial radiance pads in here are much more gentle, and yet they are effective. The face cleanser in here is very nice as well, and you get the Ultra Repair Cream. Just a really great way to try out that brand if it's something you are interested in. A second kit on this day, 50% off Strivectin Power Starters Titan and Lift Trio Kit. This one is a great deal. It's a it's going to be $44.50 after the 50% off, and it has a 100 and $29 value. You're getting a full size of the serum in this kit. I did try Strivectin as well. It is a reliable brand and I do think it's nice that this contains the neck cream. Even though I just went off about how you don't necessarily need a neck cream, I feel like in this kit it's a good way to get to try it. You're getting an ounce of that, an ounce of the serum, a quarter ounce of the eye cream. It's a really well, eye serum, pardon me, uh, it's a well-rounded kit. 
And then one more set on this multi-set day. We have 50% off the Eve Lum B Radiant Discovery set. I just bought a, a another one of these. So this is the Eve Lum cleanser that they did send to me. I just repurchased the smaller size of this because I'm still trying to decide on my absolute favorite high-end cleansing balm. Uh, this kit also comes with the rescue mask and the moisturizer. I don't know if I'm going to go for this kit just because I read the ingredients on the rescue mask and I was kind of underwhelmed. I really do love the cleanser, but I, I, I don't know. I don't know. Let me know if any of you especially have tried that rescue mask. Even though I really do enjoy this cleanser, ooh, that Elemis one is certainly a contender and that will be on its own in this sale. Thursday, January 9th, they might actually get me with this one. We have the Mamoned Lip Sleeping Mask, $7. I'm thinking about trying it. I've never tried this before, and I, I really feel like lip balms as a category. I can't read the ingredients and know how they're going to be. It's something where I, I personally feel like I really need to try them. We have 50% off Mario Badescu Select Cleansers. I pulled out my glycolic cleanser from Mario Badescu just this morning to see if I have been missing anything. Uh, and I gotta say, Mario Badescu is, is just not my favorite brand. I do know a lot of people swear by these cleansers, and they are fairly low priced to begin with, so it's a good way to get a cheap cleanser, uh, but they're just, they're just not my personal favorites. And then we have online only, 50% off the Pure Masks. <laughs> these have been on Octoly for so long, and I've never taken the time to request one. Uh, 10 to 14.50. So we have a mud mask. Oh no, a peel off mask. That's gonna be a no for me. Uh, another peel off mask and the purple pore punisher. It sounds intense. I don't know. Let me know if any of you guys have tried those. I've just been raving about pure lately, but I, I don't know. I just, I haven't tried enough of their skincare as of now. Uh, I gotta admit, Friday, January 10th is a huge lit down for me. I'm not excited about this day so far, hoping that they add more items from the time that I'm filming. Uh, so we have 50% off Proactive. I do not like the Proactive brand at all. 50% off Cover FX Booster Drops. This was my biggest disappointment in this, in this entire week. So I typically love Cover FX. I have sworn by them for years. They've been one of my absolute favorite brands. If you don't know this about their makeup line, they're actually created uh, within a, a hospital in Canada for patients who have had any kind of skin issues. Kind of love that idea, right? But I looked at every one of these and I was like, what happened here? These are not really exciting formulas. And it's interesting because I remember the first generation of these. These used to be a half ounce and about the same price. So you think, oh great, okay, so they're an ounce now for $45, but the ingredients are not good. The best looking one of the bunch is the Superpower Antioxidant Booster Drops. This one, let me pull up these ingredients real fast. So this one is a blend of oils. You're starting off with grape oil. Uh, you got jojoba in here, rosehip oil, but also some essential oils. So it's not gonna work for everybody. Definitely not if you have any irritation from essential oils. The SPF 30 booster drops, that sounds really great, but those are a chemical filter in there, which makes me not want to try it. If you can use that, again, as I said before, you are fortunate. But I'm still concerned, how much do you need to use? Because you need to use a lot of sunscreen. Are these booster drops that much more concentrated? I just don't know, and they don't tell you in the how to use section. Uh, the mattifying booster drops, what happened here? I, I don't think it's a good idea to just use denatured alcohol to mattify your skin, and you sure don't need to pay $45 for it. And then the brightening booster drops, what, what is this? Cap cap caprylic triglyceride squalene. I guess it doesn't look terrible, but why is it $45? Obviously, I'm very disappointed by this whole day, uh, but I guess that's good for our wallets, right? Friday can be a, a nice break for all of us because I am actually excited about January 11th, Saturday, so let's talk about that. We've got the Murad Hydrodynamic Ultimate Moisture. This is really great if you do have more dry skin. It is a little pricey. $75 at retail, but $37.50 in this sale. Great time to get it. 50% off the Clinique, take the day off cleansing balm. I absolutely swear by this. $15, so glad to see it back in this sale. It is a fantastic cleansing balm for removing makeup or removing sunscreen. Sometimes I forget to include that. It's great to remove SPF as well. Uh, just very easy to use, no scent to it, so there's nothing you know particularly special about using it. It's just really effective and very straightforward. 
You know what I do have that might be helpful for you? I have a video comparing some high-end cleansing balms, including Clinique and Eve Lom, so I'll make sure to link that. And then finally, 50% off the Paracone MD Vitamin C Ester Brightening Serum, $35. This looks like a really good vitamin C ester serum. So bear in mind that this one is not ascorbic acid. This is THD ascorbate, which I talked about in my vitamin C video. Oh my goodness, I'm going to be linking a ton of videos in this whole series, I can see. Straightforward formula. It does have a couple of fragrance ingredients, but again, if the if the Dr. Paracone brand works for you, then it works for you. And some people absolutely swear by it, and having trialed the brand, I understand why. Let's chat about the hot buys. This runs for the duration of the sale, the 5th through the 25th, and they're saying irresistible finds up to 50% off. But there's only one category that's 50% off, so overall, this could be a little bit better. A little better. You should add some here, Ulta. But that 50% off deal might actually get me. I really like the sets that they have here. So we have the Beauty Finds by Ulta Fresh Picks and the Skincare Sleep Repeat. These will both be $20 and they contain 10 deluxe samples. I'm especially interested in this Fresh Picks set. So you get in here the Kanuka Healing Skin Balm, which I really, really want to try. I have not been able to justify buying the full size because it's so pricey, but a quarter ounce here of a, a balm type of product should be plenty to get to try it. We've got Bosha Matcha Magic Super Antioxidant Mask. That's almost a half ounce. Uh, the Murad Night Fix Enzyme Treatment. Tula Aqua Infusion Oil-Free Gel Cream. I did try that one. Half ounce there is a good product. Prebiotics Hydrating Gel Moisturizer from Juice Beauty. Just a lot in here that I would like to try. I, I, there's no reviews yet on these because they're brand new, but something that happens Every single time there's one of these sample sets released, be it the Sephora Favorites kits or the Ulta kits, there's always someone in the reviews who says, eh, this is just gifts with purchases. Yes, it is. But in order to get five samples in a gift with purchase from Ulta, you usually have to spend somewhere between $50 and $75. So you'd have to do it twice to get all these samples, assuming that all these are in kits that you actually want and gifts with purchases that you actually want. So you'd be at $150, just drop the $20 and try the samples. That's my stance on it, but you know, I guess we all have different opinions. I personally think these sets are very well curated. 40% off the Becca Skin Love Collection. So the Skin Love Weightless Blur Foundation, I do not recommend. I actually hated that foundation. That was one I tried back in 2018, so it did not make my 2019 worst, but ooh. Not a good foundation in my personal opinion. I would pass on the Skin Love Brighten and Blur Primer personally because it's just a silicone primer, although that may appeal to some amount of people. But I got to admit, I'm interested in both the Glow Shield Prime and Set Mist and the Skin Love Glow Elixir. These have beautiful ingredients. It looks like it's going to be pretty hydrating and also good for acne prone skin. So comment if you've tried these. I'm very interested. I love that that runs for the whole sale. I might grab those. We're gonna run really quickly through some of these categories because there are a lot within them. So 25% off Tarte Double Duty Beauty Skin Care. 25% off is better than nothing. So, you know, this is where I would pick up products that you know you love as opposed to kind of trying out products you haven't tried before. That's just my personal stance. 25% off Bare Minerals Select Skin Care. There is a lot in this category. 30% off Mamond. I did try Mamond. Mamond is based around adding flowers into skincare and it didn't work for me. Uh, you know, fragrance is a coin toss for me. Mamond did not work. Aside from that rose toner, I actually really like the rose toner. 30% off the Paracone MD Essential FX Collection. 30% off Pure Skincare. 30% off Exuviant's Select Items. 30% off It Cosmetics Bye Bye Breakout Powder and Concealer. Has anyone tried this? Because the ingredients list on that powder is really bizarre. Who was just asking me about collagen in products? Because the second ingredient here is soluble collagen in a powder. I mean, I guess I can see it, but it's a bit of a surprise. Um, vitamin C powder, hydrolyzed collagen. It's really strange. I would love to know how, oh, it has terrible reviews. <laughs> If you want to look like an Oompa Loompa, buy this. I'm good. Have any of you guys tried it? I love finding reviews like that. They're just so fun to read. 
30% off Shiseido select cleansers, 30% off peach and lily select items. You guys know I looked in here to see if my glass skin serum was included. I feel like Ulta really dangled that one in front of us. They gave us the 50% off deal. We fell in love with it and now we're stuck paying full price. Ulta. 30% off Derma Doctor. You know, that's a brand I still haven't tried, but uh, maybe I'll try them in 2020. Strivectin Intensive Eye Concentrate for Wrinkles, 30% off. Some people do swear by that product. Origins Good Morning Greats Trio, $10. Trilogy Entire Brand. I think that's a new brand to Ulta. 30% off This Works Deep Sleep Pillow Spray. I do actually really like this, but I'm going to try to catch it at 50% off. I'm not out of it yet. Surprising how long this stuff lasts. 30% off Teamy Blends Hibiscus Infused Vitamin C Serum. I feel like it's a tough call on that particular product. I do like that it is an ascorbic acid-based serum, and it is high in the ascorbic acid. Um, Jasmine Essential Oil, though. I don't know. Let me know if any of you guys have tried that one. 30% off Bosha Select Charcoal Items. I actually really do like the Bosha Detoxifying Cleanser. It has a warming sensation as you use it. Categorize it under my guilty pleasures because I'm really not sure that that gives you any benefit other than feeling fun. 30% off the Mario Badescu Acne Repair Kit. That one has the drying lotion, the buffering lotion, and drying cream. I don't know if I want to try any more of Mario Badescu's acne line because that drying mask was so bad. Oh, that product reeks. 30% off Meaningful Beauty Ultra Lifting and Firming Treatment. 30% off Paracone MD Cleansers. 30% off Skin Iceland, the Antidote Cooling Daily Lotion. I personally do not like that one. It is another one of those menthol-containing products, and menthol just doesn't do anything for the skin. It just feels like it's doing something. That's it. 30% off the Awake Beauty Rise and Reset Eye Cream. 40% off Michael Todd Sunclear Devices. 30% 30% off Skin Iceland Glacial Cleansing Gloss, 30% off Strivectin, 30% off Peter Thomas Roth Select Cleansers. I did try, I've tried quite a few of Peter Thomas Roth cleansers. Um, they're all fairly reliable, but they're, you know, I, I, I guess I personally cut corners on cleansers for the most part. I feel like I'd rather invest in my serums and my moisturizers, but again, that could just be me. off liters, good chance to uh, buy some sheet masks. 40% off Teamy Blends facial oils. I would probably not recommend these as they are very high in coconut oil. I find it slightly deceptive in my personal opinion that when you read the ingredients list on these, they list off all these other oils that it contains, but then when looking at the ingredients list, the second ingredient is coconut oil. Peter Thomas Roth, Water Drench Hyaluronic Cloud Cream, 5.1 ounces for $99. That's a great deal if you absolutely love that product. 40% off Hey Honey Masks and Scrubs. I've not thought about that brand for so long. I saw them on this list and I was like, oh yeah, I remember them from Ipsy years ago. 30% off Touch and Soul Entire Brand. They come up a lot in this sale as well. Lash Food Conditioning Collagen Lash Primer. Imbibe Beauty Ritual. Beauty Renewal. I have not heard of that brand at all. 40% off the Belly Select Acne Products. This was actually interesting. So they have, what did I click on here? I clicked on the online only acne control spot treatment. What's nice about this is they've actually come up with a formula for women who are pregnant because when you're pregnant, you actually have to limit your skincare a lot. You can't use retinol, you can't use salicylic acid. So it is nice that they've created a spot treatment for pregnant women. Very thoughtful. And then last, 35% off the Dermaflash Lux Dermaplaning Collection. Uh, I just don't know that much about dermaplaning personally, even though I have definitely taken a razor blade to my face. Not sure that's a good thing, but I've done it. So that is everything we have for Ulta Love Your Skin event week number one. Make sure you're subscribed for the next couple of weeks. And let me know in the comments below if you guys are going to be grabbing anything in this sale or if you are not. Is it a good sale in your opinion? I actually think this is a great sale. Minus the hot buys, which I just feel like we repeated a lot of brands and it wasn't that exciting. Uh, But the daily deals, they're pretty good. And we've got some good stuff coming up too. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to like, and I will see you guys next time.